Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Costume Quest 2, ringing in the spookiest time of the year. Last year, I planned ahead and recorded Costume Quest 1 in such a fashion that it would end on the 31st. This year, I tried to do the same thing. It didn't work out. So it's been a few months since I've played Costume Quest 2. Um... I'm not necessarily rusty in regards to the gameplay, because... Hold on. There we go. <laughs> um, because... The gameplay is very simple. It's, uh, it, it doesn't really add... Uh, much to, uh to the Costume Quest 1 formula. Yeah, that's what we're trying to get past. First, we need to get a new costume. Um, the story is, like, it, it's, it's, it's an odd thing for a, for a game like this to pick up off of a um, cliffhanger from a previous game's DLC. Uh, let alone have its own time travel storyline go along with it. But we're trying to stop a dental dystopia. We have gone back into the past. And we need to find a costume. Which costume do we need to find? Possibly this one, as its location is the bayou. Are we going to get a crocodile or alligator costume? I don't know the difference. Like, I see the difference posted all the time. Hmm. We need to get you to move somehow. Did you come to duel the best? Because I'm the best. The best at what? At dueling. There's no one better in the bayou. Or more humbly, apparently. Or more humble, apparently. That's true! I'm also the humblest. But I'm known more for being the best. Wait a minute, you don't have an instrument. Why are you here? I need someone to duel. Come back when you have an instrument. I'll even dangle my sweet pterodactyl costume pattern as a carrot. Uh, we'll get right on. Okay, so we need to duel him because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to assemble a pterodactyl pattern. You, sir, are going down. Hey, metronome. Ah. Uh. And ultimately, until we get the pterodactyl costume, we technically only have two characters because candy corn does nothing. Shall we dispel sweet justice upon this crony? Uh, let's hold it back. And what creepy tree cards? A minion's attack damage. A minion's attacks damage itself. Chosen hero ignored by all enemies. Mute a minion's magic attacks. Candy corn is good. Almost got him. Yeah, Candy Corn is basically just there to distract more than anything else. Get rid of you. Uh, do some damage to you. Don't expect much from Candy Corn. I don't. It's been a long time, though, since I've had Candy Corn. I'm not even going to worry about the timing here. It's going to do enough. Does anybody have a... I forget if anybody has a healing attack. Like, does... Candy Corn does what it can. What is yours? Laughter is the best medicine.
the clown is still frightening to look at. I, and also one thing I forget is that your health maintains itself from one fight to the next. Um, let's actually then use Sweet Justice. Candy Corn doesn't listen to haters. Almost got him. Alright, and now I'm not even going to worry about the timing. He's done. Okay, we're going to try to get rid of the clown as soon as possible. <laughs> I think I'm ready to learn some combat techniques from Corvus. Where the hell is Corvus? Huh. That's new? Like, I was expecting just the same combat techniques, but if there's more to this, like, then the only issue is that it takes a while to get to. Monty's Gator Giddy Up. <laughs> Is Corvus at Everett's house? Wait here, Monty. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah, because we're interacting with a previous version. Yes. Look at you all battle-hardened. I think you might be ready to learn more. If you are agile enough, you can get an extra attack in on your enemies before they know what hit them. Attack me now. If you land a well-timed blow, you will see another opening to attack. Oh, that's it. You found the opening once more. All right. Ouch, these second attacks really sting. I will need to see it once more before I sign off on that, though. Oof. You pack quite a punch for a kid. I think it's safe to say that you've mastered the art of combos. Okay. So. It's kind of, in a sense, a little bit more. Ah! Oh, it's you guys. <laughs> I'm already refreshed. Yeah, it, it's... I, I don't... It, it doesn't necessarily add that much of a variety to it. You get an additional attack. Um, you get a follow-up attack to your regular attack. You're still doing the regular attack, except now your regular attack can get an extra attack to it if you time it properly. Which is convenient, because this means it might make battles faster. You will never get the talisman. But it doesn't necessarily add variety or diversity to your attack options. It's just one of you. What the hell were you expecting to accomplish, sir? Only eight more points of damage. I am unimpressed. Although I suppose this probably would have taken three turns as opposed to turn two turns. So there's that. Nope, still takes three turns. 
Damn it! That was a bad block. Um, Splorts. Amazing attacks are much easier. Are you playing hide-and-seek? Why did I wear the hat? The hat always gives, always gives me away. Hey, you. Need some creepy treat cards? You slip me the candy. I slip you the creepy treat cards. Shady, what are you doing way out here? Shh. Keep it down, kid. Don't want to attract attention. How did you get out of Rapugia? I got clients all over. I go where the action is, kid. But this is decades in the past. You think I'm gonna let some chump from the past take all my business? <laughs> you don't know Shady. So listen, you want some creepy treat cards or not? I got some good ones in here. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We got a map, get a lay of the land. French Quarter. Huh. A candy corn upgrade. Did I mention that I got a zero return policy? Um, how do I... Or is that automatically applied? It's already applied. Good. Trick or treat! You are after the talisman. I can sense it. See, now the regular candy corn has upgraded to the harvest candy corn. Um, yeah. Sweet justice. Candy corn is registered as a deadly weapon. Okay, can we? S yes, we can. Excellent. I was worried I would not be able to skip these cutscenes. Uh, let's get rid of you. Candy Corn doesn't want the responsibility. Excellent. I need to wet my whistle. Monty, you're a kid. Mm. Did we miss a house? In the bayou? It seems we may have. Or is it just an empty house? Yeah, it's just an empty house that used to have... Guys, can you find a fountain? I'm parched. Oh, is it because he's uh, near death? And we have not done anything in the French Quarter yet. So let's go over to the French Quarter knock on some doors, get some candy. We'll probably visit a fountain there. Yes, yes, yes. You need to wet your whistle. We are aware of this. You got a creepy treat card. Fudge crystals. What does that do? 
splash damage on all attacks. Hmm. Honestly? That's pretty good. Some weird kid with braces was following me, but I gave him the slip. And I think we're trying to go there, maybe? We have entered the French Quarter. Where's the bathroom in this place? I'm gonna burst! This gumbo cart was in my guidebook, although it wasn't the list of places to avoid. Hey, don't even think about doing a chat and cut. Don't bother me, I need to focus on my order. The guidebooks are slamming me because I don't use real shrimp. Sir. This guy. I don't even have any candy to give you. Um, let's see if you actually have different creepy treat cards, though. Shady, how do you get here so fast? I got clients all over the bayou, kid. What do you need? Mm, Tinfoil chews looks good. Double candy reward looks good. Chosen hero takes two turns. An enemy's attacks heal rather than damage. Okay, we're gonna have to save some candy for these candy cards. Especially the healing ones. Because we don't have that many healing options. And once we get rid of the clown, which we will, because it's clown. Alright, let us... Heal up. Man, how did you know I wasn't a Halloween decoration? Kid. That was close. Hairspray is a girl's best friend in this muggy weather. Well, especially if you want the top of your head to look like that. What are you supposed to be? Shh, don't make me talk, I'm a statue. Why? People tip good money if I look all statuesque. So you put on a costume and stand still? That's basically what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm also painted silver and standing on a box with an awesome pose. I'm performing a valuable service. There's no money in your cup. Well, that's because they're going to the bank to get more money probably. I saw one of those statues move just now. Then I realized it was a kid. <laughs> what are you supposed to be? I'm a stone cold statue. You didn't even see my lips move when I said that, right? And people tip for this? Just look in the cup. It will tell you everything you need to know. There's nothing in the cup. Oh, well, that's because I blew their minds. They will come back with tips when their minds have healed. There's another kid over there doing the same thing, you know. That silver kid? Ha! <laughs> if you had a choice between silver and gold, which would you pick? I thought she was made of platinum. What? Did she say that? No wonder I don't have any money in my cup. Dang it! <sighs> Ooh. Who are you? Little Bones, we got your candy right here, ready to go. Do I look like I was born yesterday? No, you look like you died several months ago. <laughs> You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. I know what a lot of candy looks like, and that ain't it. Fill my bucket at every house if you want me to take you to those witches. Oh, is that what we're supposed to do? We're supposed to get to witches? I ain't leaving till I see a gator. We saw several gators. I'm really sweaty right now. The French Quarter used to be where you could make a name for yourself. Now it's too touristy. 
Hey, is that a clown horn you got there? You trying to make a name for yourself too? Uh, cause we need a hornist for this song we're doing. If you could get some of those tourists to come by, we'd let you jam with us. Could be worth some major music cred. Hmm. Sure wish we could get people's attention. Maybe we could paint ourselves up like statues too, I don't know. People keep falling for those gimmicky acts. This must be what chopped liver feels like. Thanks for listening to us play, man. Everyone else is too OCD to stop by. Hmm. Now, how do I use the horn? Don't spill my mega gulp! Ah. Ah, my ears! Drum up some interest, or, e or horn some up! Well... Ah, oh, my ears! I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, hey, I was so entranced with these statue kids. They're cool, but they don't make any sound. Yeah, you're right. They're pretty quiet, I guess. You'd be better off taking in a free concert over there. Free? That's my favorite kind of music. Do I need more? Oh, my ears. My ears! Can't you see I'm waiting in line? Well, there's some live music starting on the other side of the square. No line! Live music, huh? Tempting, but I really want to try this shrimp tr jumbo shrimp gumbo. I heard that this food cart uses fake shrimp. What? I'm allergic to fake shrimp. Where did you say this band was again? You. I haven't talked to you yet. I almost choked to death on my... Bayonet? I think I might sue! Can you believe they don't have XXXXX so large uh, t-shirts in the gift shop? Not now, I'm watching this kid. He's amazing! Hey, what do you do that for? Can't you see me enjoying this crazy kid over here? He's okay, but have you heard authentic French Quarter music before? No, I can't say that I have. Is it good? See for yourself. They're about to jam in the square over there. Sounds cultural. I Maybe I will check it out. Have we gotten enough people? Okay, you can't talk to this person. That looks like a hiding kid, dressed as an egg. I guess this hiding spot was over easy to find. Very nice. All right, we just need to find one more kid. Okay, we rounded up some spectators. Yeah, you did? Wow, we haven't a crowd like this since ever! But there's only three people. Yeah, I know, don't get a big head. Okay, you ready to do these horn parts? We gotta really be tight if we want to impress the crowd. I'll motion to you when it's time to honk. Don't mess up. Nice, you really nailed your parts. I never expected a clown horn to be the piece we were missing. You definitely earned your music cred. I'll bet word will get around. 
All right. Hold on. What did we... Did we act, pick up physical music cred? We did. I need to defeat Bub in a music duel. Am I going to be doing that with the clown horn? That is the expectation I'm getting. Did you find anyone to duel me yet? We haven't been looking. Then why are you even here? Psh, is that all you got? Interesting technique. Let's see if you can handle this. Okay, stop. I'm just getting confused. Honestly, I don't even know how to judge <laughs> this duel. You could be the best clown horn player in the world. Or the worst. Who knows? How about we call it a draw? I'll give you the pterodactyl pattern and you keep this between us. Sounds fine to me. We both know who really won anyway. We do? Who was it? Me, right, or you? How can you even tell? Excellent. We are... What's a pterodactyl? It's an awesome flying dinosaur. Let's look around for more material so we can build it. Mmm, we are still two ingredients short. Um, we're gonna switch back to that. And go back to trick-or-treating in the French Quarter. Trick or treats! I know what you seek, you will not have it! Candy corn raises its hackles. All right. Okay, so the bonus attack definitely. Candy corn is fat free. Uh, definitely helps deal with some of these weaker enemies. You know, it's too bad candy corn can't even use items. Candy corn will get the next one. Okay, it looks like one more turn for this fight. Hmm, I'm gonna have to stop people from attacking Candy Gorn. Or... I need to start balancing out who is Candy Gorn. I could probably do that. Like, if I swap out... You two... Oh, yeah. I can just eat candy to... gain health at the moment. 
much candy do I have? 277. Okay, that's enough that I can afford a new candy card. All right, let's swap. Costumes again. Trick or treat. Seek the talisman no more, human child. The dentist must have it. All right, I'm gonna use Sweet Justice on the center opponent. Sweet Justice! Candy Corn wants this to be over. Excellent. That did something. Mm. Candy corn takes a pass. Like once I actually have the ability to like like once I get another costume, I'm gonna be swapping out candy corn. And then I'll have three characters actually attacking per round. As opposed to just two. Which will be nice. Ah, you're fine. You don't need any water. Trick or treat! What imaginative costumes! You deserve candy! And that's the last trick or treater they, they let into their home. What do we do up here? Pigeons! Oh, hold on. Out of the way, pigeons! Hmm. Excellent. Yep, there's another. Who are you? Wow, you have lots of candy. Didn't we see you earlier? My mom says candy will rot my teeth. That sure is a lot of candy you got there. Ooh, is that another ingredient for the pterodactyl? It is, in fact, paper mache, which means we only need one more ingredient to complete our pterodactyl. Trick or treat! Sorry, kids, I ain't got no candy, but if you got yourself a broken boat, I can help you all out. Hmm. We don't even have... Do we have a broken boat? I heard there are witches on the edge of town. I wonder if they sell crafts. Mink's place? Hmm. What are you doing here? I thought kids hated jazz. The music here is good, but I came here for the root beer floats. 
This is where Harmonious Mink plays. He's legendary on the sax. I'm giving Jazz one more chance before I write it off for good. No autographs right now, kid. I'm off duty, says Big Daddy. Say, you ain't that kid I've been hearing about playing a mean clown horn in the streets, are you? Oh, you've heard of me. Heard of you? Tourists won't shut up about you. You want a gig with us? We got a show certain soon. Pays 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Sounds cool. I'll get my clown horn ready. Do your thing, kid. Wait. Man, I can't believe you did me like that. You didn't play nothing. You can forget your 50 bucks. That was cold, kid. I didn't have the right costume on. Also, I wasn't entirely sure what I was supposed to play. Did you come back here to make me look bad again? Sorry about that. I got stage fright. Please let us play with you again. Stage fright, huh? Well, our horn guy is still out, and we gotta play again in a second. Okay, we'll give you another shot. Thanks for coming, ladies and gents. I'm Harmonious Mink on the sax. That's my main man, Slim Willy on drums. Check out Big Daddy on bass. And these sweet clown horn stylings are by the one and only Reynolds. Make it talk, son. Truly. Truly a blessed sound. Wow, kid, that was some sick horn work there. Here's your 50 bucks. You earned it. Thanks, Mr. Mink. It was an honor to play with you guys. Ain't no thing. You sure you don't want to sneak out the back door to avoid the mob? <laughs> Just kidding. There ain't no back door. We got... M we got money. What, what, what are we... What are we going to do with money? I think you just reinvented jazz, kid. You've made me question my definition of art. <laughs> I thought clown horns had no place in jazz. I was wrong. Are we going to change the future and then when we go back in into the future, like jazz musicians will have a clown hornist? That was the best performance I've seen. I'll be telling my kids about this someday. What do I need money for? Is the strangest question to ever ask. Trick or treat! You are after the talisman. I can sense it. All right, we should also consider getting another creepy treat card because we can afford it now. Ooh, I forget what this other, the digital crony machinist is. Candy corn looks for a weak spot. Weak sauce? What does that do? Reynold is poisoned! I 
Ah. Disappointing. Candy corn is an isosceles. Still poisoned. Candy Corn has no more moves. There we go. Oh, and that cured his poison. Time heals all wounds. All right. Candy Corn was born in Philadelphia. That was a lot of amazing attacks right at the end. All right, let us get some more creepy treat cards. Oof. Damn it. Hmm. Huh. All right, we're going to have to save Candy. Trick or treat! Get your pails ready. Here it comes. I will deposit candy into your bag. And then I will invite you into my home. You will come into my home with your own free will. Trick or treats. Did you make those costumes yourself? So cute. Okay, that's the last house. Let's get this ridiculous pile of candy to Lil Bones so we can get to those witches. No, Oral, what the heck? That brace face just stole our candy. Hey, come back, that's our ticket home. What a jerk. Where did he go? Literally, where did he go? Okay, we've already gotten there. Oh, he probably went to his house. It's the only house that has a car parked in front of it. How the car got parked in front of it? We will never know. All this candy is going to put more junk in my trunk. Kid. I don't think you need to worry about that. Oh. I've got enough problems without having to worry about gayers eating my cards, you know? I'm candy's fiercest predator. Don't you worry about your candy. That IOU is my personal guarantee. Huh. I assumed this was his house. Unless... Unless there is another house for a dentist. Okay, it's not this one. Yeah, it would have to be in the bayou because it's not going to be in the French Quarter. 
Let's keep going down this path. No, not there. Probably not there. Huh. Yeah, I'm probably going to need to get... I feel like I'm going to need to get the gator... ...costume in order to get that to move. Or, not the gator, the pterodactyl costume. In order to get that to move. So where... ...did this kid go? Oh, never mind. He's back at the French Quarter again. Hey guys, it's him. Oh. How is he making these leaf piles? How can I pursue him? Okay, I'm assuming I can move this now. And I just didn't think about it before. Because I'm going to need the ability to get rid of leaf piles in order to proceed. There we go. Uh, let us swap out candy corn for superhero... Now everybody has a costume that can be used for attacking. Um, before I go on to... To deal with Aurel. Let's check out these stops. Get a... Sugar droppings. A single full heal. All right. All right, where else were there leaf piles blocking the way? I want to say there was more than one. But I could be horribly wrong. Like, I just, like, explored this entire area, and yet I still forget how many leaf piles there are. So we'll take a quick look around. Let's see, there's none there, I think. Was there just the one by the alligators? Like these alligators were just minding their own business and then there is this one on the bridge. I want to say that there was at least one in town, in, uh, in the French Quarter. So we will go to there. Um, we're not going to worry about, like I said, we're not going to worry about this one. Oh, yeah. There's that one, but we don't actually need to worry about it anyway. There's that one. And I think that actually might be it for leaf piles. So let us go confront Aurel and get our candy back so that we can see the witches. Hey kid, give us our candy back. <laughs> oh, hey guys, sorry about that. It's just that my mom won't let me trick or treat. I wanted to try candy so bad, I guess I got a little desperate. 
Cool costumes, by the way. You never tried candy before? That's crazy. What's this? Who are these brats, Orl? These are nice kids, Mom. We were just talking and stuff. What is that you have there? Where did you get this? That's our candy. Oral was just borrowing it for a bit. Ah, you gave my little boy candy? And what is that you're wearing? Are those costumes? Mom, they were just... Get inside, Oral. It's time to brush your teeth again. And you... Take this poison away from here and get off my property. Yeesh. If I ever see you near my boy again, teaching him of the evils of Halloween, you'll be sorry. <laughs> uh, how it sucks to be that kid. I think that kid is our dentist. What did Halloween ever do to her? All right. Shall we go talk to the witches real quick? Let's talk to the witches real quick. Here's your candy. This is the mother load for sure. You won't believe what we had to go through to get it for you. I wouldn't care if you told me. Give me that candy. So, um, ready to go to the witches now? Hey, hey, are you ready to go? What? Oh, yeah, okay, let's go. Is the boat broken? Are we going to have to get somebody to fix it? Will it cost $50? That's no good. Can you fix it? We really need to meet those witches. Do I look like a boat mechanic? No, you look like a skeleton. Exactly. And skeletons don't fix boats, not to overgeneralize. Anyway, if you can find a mechanic to fix it, I'll take you over there. Otherwise, I'll be here eating this sweet nectar. Even his eyes are glowing. He is deep within the candy frenzy. Our friend's fan boat broke down. Can you help us fix it? Of course I can. That's what I do. I couldn't call myself a boat mechanic if I couldn't fix a dang fan boat. Great, come with us, it's just over here. Now hang on just a sec, that's gonna cost you 50 bucks first. 50 bucks, that's expensive. I ain't no charity kid, I got a mouth to feed. You bring me 50 bucks and I'll have you back on the water in no time. We got your 50 bucks, here. Ah wee, now we're talking 50 bucks. Somebody's eating good tonight. Yeah, not us, can you fix our boat now? Ain't no need for that, all you need is this. What's this for? I just fixed your boat. Did he just sell us an ore for 50 bucks? What a jerk. Are you serious? We didn't pay 50 bucks for an ore. This thing's only worth 20 bucks. That's true, but it costs $30 for labor. Labor? What labor? I ain't got time to explain the intricacies of my business kid. It's complicated. Besides, we're closed now. Oh my gosh. I hope you feel good about ripping off little kids. Hey, don't be like that. I gotta charge a premium for my skills. We should report you to the Better Business Bureau. Shoot, we both know you ain't gonna get, take the time to do that. What a jerk. Making us row. Hey, LeBones, we got you an ore. This will work, right? Oh, hey, you found my ore. I was wondering what happened to that thing. It wasn't even the his ore. It won't be fast as the fan, but it'll do. Let's go. And then he's got to run to the other side so that he can steer back to the to the right, and then he runs to the other side. Oh, oh my gosh. Are, are we going to just keep going in circles?
Those witches of yours live somewhere on this island. Good luck finding them. This is my stop too. I'm out of here. Feel free to use that boat. It wasn't mine anyway. All right, we are going to take a look for a save point. For now, though, let us fight these foes. Hey, Conehead, Conehead, think fast. These kids haven't seen Coneheads. Attack dull. Okay, almost killed off the machinist. No, not the weak sauce. Hmm. Mm, yeah, actually, let's do that. Let's do some sweet justice. And that gets rid of the weaker opponent. Yeah, we got the flippity flaps. Fully heals your heroes after you win. That's a good card. Huh? That's what we're looking for. All right, I'm thinking I'm going to stop here for the night. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have yourselves a good night.